It might be summed up that here in Sicily there is interest in the Godfather because it's a story, a part of which at least many of the people here have lived. However, after they've seen it or read it, the feeling seems to be unanimous that the face of the fictional Godfather contains none of the warts of reality. Barry Dunsmore, ABC News, Palermo. Marcello Cimino is a feature columnist and mafia expert for the left-wing Palermo newspaper, Laura. We talked about the Godfather and the real mafia. I asked him about the Godfather. I asked him if he thought the Godfather was a glorification of the mafia. I asked him to what extent the real mafia was still part of the way of life of Sicily. That's it. Meanwhile, in Palermo itself, Il Padrino, which means The Godfather, has become a popular book, number three on the bestseller list, even in hardcover. And the movie is doing brisk business, despite the fact that the prices have been increased by 30%. One of the most common reactions I heard from people leaving the movie was, the Americans... Okay. Meanwhile, in Palermo itself, Il Padrino, which means The Godfather, has become a popular book, number three on the bestseller list, even in hardcover. And the movie is doing brisk business, despite the fact that prices have been increased by 30%. Start again. Meanwhile, in Palermo itself, Il Padrino, which means The Godfather, has become a popular book, number three on the bestseller list, even in hardcover. And the movie is doing brisk business, despite the fact that the prices have been increased by 30%. One of the most common reactions I heard from people leaving the movie was, the Americans really seem to like the Mafia. Marcello Cimino is a feature columnist and Mafia expert for the left-wing Palermo newspaper, Laura. We talked about The Godfather and the real Mafia. I asked him about The Godfather. I asked him if he thought The Godfather was a glorification of the Mafia. I asked him to what extent the real Mafia was still part of the way of life of Sicily. I asked him to what extent the real Mafia was still part of the way of life of Sicily. What did you think of the film The Godfather? Well, I think the movie, very nice movie, but some stories not real, not true. This what, is what I think. What stories weren't true? Well, some stories uh, the true. I think when the, uh, the brother-in-law, they want to kill uh, his uh, husband, his sister. Well, this is true, because when somebody tries to kill somebody else, this is very, very terrible. Well, when their sister follows his brother uh, for uh, what they do in Mega with the husband and the wife, the, the wife very, very be mad with the husband. After the husband, they want to take uh, all people, all people's uh, mafia, they call them mafia, for a killer is brother Do you think this film would be good for Corleone or bad for Corleone? I think nice movie for Corleone and uh, another state. Why do you think it would be a nice movie for him? I think it's a nice movie because uh, sometimes we see uh, something new, new one. Okay, you're welcome. Okay. 
What do you think of the story of the Godfather? Do you think that it glorifies the Mafia? No. What do you think of the story of the Godfather? It is a discussion about an important problem which are connected with several structures of the social system. Do you think that it glorifies the Mafia? No. I don't think so. It is all a bestseller and the popular film was a plot made by Anderson according to the moral social feeling of his reader or reader. Do you think that it's a true portrayal of the situation? I am not able to answer the question people think I belong to a new generation. Do you think that the Godfather is good or bad for Corleone? I believe the best the Godfather is bad for Corleone because it makes Corleone famous for a way of life, which is not genuine. Corleone has many other important aspects. What do you think of the story of the Godfather? It is a discussion about an important problem which are connected with several structures of social system. Do you think it glorifies the mafia? No, I don't think so. It is all a bestseller and the popular film good plot may be only thing according to the moral social film of which we are aware. What do you think of the story of the Godfather? It is a discussion about an important problem which are connected with several Structure of the social system. Do you think that it glorifies the mafia? No, I don't think so. It is only I base Sela in the popular film. Do plot my be only so according to the moral social feeling of the real of viewer. Do you think that it's a true portrayal? I am not able to answer the question properly since I belong to a new generation. Do you think that the Godfather is good or bad for Corleone? I believe that the Godfather is bad for Corleone because it makes Corleone famous for a way of life which is not genuine. Corleone has many other important aspects. This is an interview with uh, Mr. Marcello Camino, who is a writer on the market for the Palermo newspaper Laura. Mr. Camino, as a writer on the real mafia here in Sicily, what are your impressions of the fictionalized Godfather? I think that um, the, 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 both the book and the film give a, a good idea of what um, mafia uh, is, uh, is really in the States, the way they operate, the crime, the, they are responsible all. But as far as Sicily is concerned, it seems that the authors uh, don't know 
uh, exactly what things are like here. I, I think even the landscape, the, the spiritual of the harvest is not very corresponding to the real things. Do you think that uh, the Godfather glorifies the Mass? Oh yes, of course, I think so. Really, it gives an attractive face of mafia. Uh, it, it, it seems to, uh, uh, to cause an approval, to stimulate a kind of approval by the audiences of the way they act, how they get stuff, how they uh, make justice on their own. Do you think that uh, something like this could be harmful? Yes, it, it, it is going to be harmful because it conceals what really mafia is. Uh, the, the harm they do to, to society, to civil life, and even in, in how they barbaric are in their uh, family uh, roots and so on. All of this um, uh, concealing what, uh, what, what mafia is in fact helps this antisocial uh, anti -social organization to grow and to conceal itself. To what extent does the Mafia still play a role in the way of life of Sicily? You, you must distinguish. There is a, a half of the island where Mafia does exist. It's never existed. They don't know about Mafia. They don't know more than North Italy or in England. But in the western side of Sicily, where Mafia exists, as uh, I would say, was born and from where it spread in the States. Here, math is still part of life, uh, and uh, even if it's changing, uh, it's no longer rural uh, uh, organization has come into the town, get into the business, and spread um, uh, uh, all uh, be behind the sea, even in Italy, in Rome, uh, more and more getting into administration, to the government. This is a new phase of something very, very harmful, I think. All right. You know, as a writer on the real mafia here in Sicily, how do you feel about the fictionalized Godfather? Um, I think that mm, both the book and the film are very good, very corresponding to uh, reality uh, as far as um, uh, the United States are concerned. Uh, so as long as the uh, acting is in described in the state, I mean the, the crime, the way they act, what they do uh, over there in New York and others, it, it's corresponding. Probably it's been taken from police records or court uh, records. Uh, what I think it's not, it's too fiction and less corresponding to uh, things as they are, is uh, as, as far as Sicily is concerned. I think they don't know very much about what things are like in Sicily. Even the landscape, the landscape they describe or the houses and towns are not very. I have more fiction than, than the other part. Do you think that the Godfather tends to glorify the Mafia? Oh yes, I, I, think, I think so. It, it gives a, an attractive face to Mafia and make, makes the audiences, uh, I would say, uh, admire, but think uh, the way they, do, they operate is correct, is useful, is, is uh, almost necessary. The, the way they get rich, they are tough, they revenge, they make justice. Why do you think the film and book are so popular? Uh, they, are, they are popular because they are it's elementary. Uh, things are very simple. Uh, everybody, everybody can understand the meaning of the words, of the action. There is plenty of action. Uh, and even the worst crimes are not um, are, are not horrible the way they are described. Uh, in some way, uh, uh, one is induced to uh, approve them. To what extent does the real mafia still exist, and how much is it a part of life here in Sicily? 
uh, you must uh, distinguish. There is a large part of the city, eastern side, uh, part of the city, where mafia uh, doesn't exist, it's never existed, and where people know about mafia not more than in north of Italy or in England. But in western cities, where mafia was born and where from emigrate into the United States, here mafia is still part of life, still present. And even if it gets changed, you know, quite a lot, from it's no longer a rural uh, organization, uh, it's no longer a barbaric or folkloristic place, they are changing the way of dressing, they have come into town, they, uh, they go into business, and uh, more and more they get involved with politics, they get into the administration. And they have spread now from what we are starting with the last question. Ah, the last question. To what extent is the real mafia still part of the way of life of Sicily? You must distinguish. There is uh, a large um, part of the island where mafia does exist, has never existed, and where people know about mafia not more than not, not in Italy or in England. Uh, but in the western part of Sicily, where mafia was born and where from went into the states, went into the states, and where here mafia uh, still exists and still is part of life. Uh, uh, they have changed, of course. They are no longer the rural uh, organization with a barbaric style of acting, uh, dressing in a folkloric way. They, they got into the town, into business, and they are um, introduced themselves in the government, in the public affairs, and from this way they have uh, spread into Italy, even in Rome now, uh, there is a presence of mafia openly. To what extent do you think that the Godfather might be a bad influence, even on this kind of thing that you talk about? Oh, uh, uh, I think uh, as, as long as it gives this uh, well, good face of mafia, uh, uh, causes uh, the, the way they act to be approved, they justify uh, all the means including uh, getting into politics, which is uh, talking about, in, talked about in, both in the book and in, in the, in the film. And this makes more and more difficult to expose them and to, 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 to the struggle against this uh, arm, uh, the army they do. Now you must say. Okay. And, uh, <laughs> I said, Do you think that films and books like The Godfather can be harmful? I think so. They, they are, uh, are they, uh, they are going to be harmful. They give a, a, a wrong idea of Sicily in general, uh, 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 coloring too much uh, mafia, which is only part of our life, not only, not all of Sicily. And then uh, they um, give me this. Uh, attractive face of mafia and justifying uh, the, the way they act and their crimes uh, makes more and more difficult the, uh, uh, the, the struggle against the army they do to, to survive. 